Hey folks, Joseph A. Savora here, and I decided to do a special review on the Peanuts miniseries, This is America, Charlie Brown, where the Peanuts gang, including Charlie Brown, Snoopy, Woodstock, Sally, and Linus, Lucy, Pepper and Patty, Marcy, Schroeder, and all the rest, are taking a trip to a journey and events on exploring the American history. Which, it looked like they just traveled back in time in the DeLorean from Back to the Future. Sort of. <laughs> well, anyway. I'm going to start with the first episode, which is called The Mayflower Voyage, which aired on October 21st, 1988. It stars Aaron Chase as Charlie Brown, Brendan Stewart as Linus Van Pelt, Erica Gale as Lucy Van Pelt, Brittany Forden as Sally Brown, Jason Mendelson as Pepper Patty, Tawny Taylor Powers as Marcy, Greg Berger as Mal Stanich, as well as all the additional adult voices out there. Frank Welker, who's doing all the additional adult voices as well. And Bill Melendez as Snoopy and Woodstock. It's created by Charles M. Schultz and is directed by Ever Brown. The episode begins on September 6, 1620, just 128 years since Christopher Columbus had discovered America is the Primbiff Harbor in England, where a tiny ship known as the Mayflower Voyage had boarded 102 passengers. There are 70 of both men and women, along with 32 children and pets, including the Peanuts game themselves. Charlie Brown, Linus, Lucy, Sally, Pepper and Patty, Marcy, Schroeder, and even Snoopy and Woodstock. <laughs> Some of them are voyagers known as the Pilgrims, and they are leaving their homeland to seek out their religious freedom in the New World. While some of them are strangers seeking out for the new land, there are people who are working as servants, and the rest of the crew who are sailing the Mayflower. The Pilgrims had a contract with the English merchants who will finance the journey, and they will be sharing profits for the new settlement. The biggest problem is the trip itself had became a very dangerous undertaking and the voyagers had to take their risks by crossing the treacherous North Atlantic on the tiny ship with many weeks on the open sea. The passengers and crew will be traveling in unbelievable crowded conditions, sharing their little space with their precious cargo. The voyagers will hardly have any chance to sleep and eat or even move about. Many of them will leave their loved ones behind. Even if they survive this dangerous crossing, they will arrive at a virtual wilderness. However, their beliefs in God, their desire for freedom from the religious persecution, all make their life-threatening risk worth taking. And their adventures will take a course of American history right there. As they sailed within nine weeks or so, the weather was a disaster. There were violent winds and storms heading away and the passengers themselves were getting completely seasick. Even worse, there was a man overboard by the name of John Howland where they saved the man's life on deck and the storm had hit and damaged one of the main beams at midships with a board being cracked and bow on the ship. Captain Christopher Jones had a long debate and found a way to fix the, the beam by using a big jack screw, yeah, very big, and they added the, the two boards, which are known as the post, to keep it secure as they were on their way since they just couldn't go back to England at all because it's, they took a long journey all the way during those weeks <laughs> well anyway they still had their faith as the journey went on and once they finally landed even after two days later at Providence Town Harbor 
They had no charter or rules for the wilderness to stand behind them, so the pilgrims themselves had to write at a historical agreement known as the, the Mayflower Compact. So they had to compact all the laws for the future. After the unsuccessful attempt to navigate the further south, the Mayflower had to return back to Providence Town Harbor so that way they could bring the first group of men to prepare to leave the ship to find a new home. But sadly, two of the original 102 passengers had died, leaving only one unborn baby. During those few days, the travelers had to do some chores, such as washing and drying clothes, and many others that followed. They were fishing for food, and there were even whales at sea, you know, greeting them. But during the next four weeks, the pilgrims had experienced many disappointments. The group of men had tried to find a new home, but it had several traps and wild animals. Even worse, some of the passengers are getting very ill while they're in the Mayflower. A group of men with guns, yeah, and I know Snoopy joins in, they spotted some Indians um, on the side but they had later banished. They left the harbor a day later and lay anchor on Plymouth which somehow there was no Indians around and they spent time building new homes and crops even at worse weather conditions in the winter. And that's where some of the passengers had laid sick or even worse dying and the Mayflower had eventually became a hospital as well as the new homes themselves. But the 32 children have miraculously survived which that includes the penis game themselves. So they had to do some chores um, that's being ordered by Captain Mouse Standish. And by February during a terrible winter no Indians had been found, and with the lack of nutritious food and medical supplies, half of the original 102 passengers had passed away, leaving out only 20 adults and 30 children that had survived. So Captain Miles Sanders has said that time will be running out for the remaining survivors if they can't find any help. And by early March, he had to make a decision on whenever it's time to go back to England or just stay in the wilderness. But then there's a miracle that happened when an Indian with no weapons named Samoset, who speaks English that learns from an English fisherman, it wasn't perfect English, but he had to say what he had to say. He came from his land and he was introduced only to tell them that, that all the Indians had died from a plague, a terrible plague. However, he does have a surviving Indian known as Squanto, who speaks better English than he does. And by the time he enters, he tells a story about his life with all the pilgrims and the children. So they're trying to find a way to, to have Squanto, as well as Somerset, to help him out. Find a way to either go back to England or at this rate, stay in the wilderness to see if there's hope for a miracle. Anyway, so during a couple of months, uh, Squanto had teached the pilgrims about the heritage 
of their fathers by planting corn with fish on the fields. Yeah, by using the, the corn kernels and and all these flishes that planted within you know within these squares. And during those months there were no deaths. Several homes were being built. Farming had to be continued around even during the fall, you know, such as uh, pumpkins and you know, fruits and vegetables and corns and, and on top of that even a turkey. So during that course of October and November, Squanto brought Chief Massasoit, who rules all the Indians, to their region, seeking out for their friendship to last a century. As the Indians had came with Squanto and Massasoit, they were invited with the pilgrims on their first traditional holiday of a Thanksgiving feast. Yeah, this is a great special, even as an episode of This is America, Charlie Brown. It really tells um, the actual story really straight and, and how the way it turns out. Especially when we had to see the Peanuts game, you know, getting involved and doing all the chores and doing all the work that they need to do to to keep themselves survive. And so that's why they need to have faith. Of course Charlie Brown did narrate the story as we speak. And as I mentioned in my DVD review yesterday, I did mention that I had two versions of the same episode. Yeah, one is from Paramount, which is on the DVD. And the other one was from the original airing from CBS, which is the one that aired on Nickelodeon. And it's also... Um, the one that's on the Blu-ray and DVD release from Warner Brothers. And it should also be on the 4K version as well. That there's a scene where where the Indian Squanto, along with the pilgrims, had came to shoot the turkey. But then in the parent I would definitely say in the cut version, which is the Paramount release. They just show a close-up of Squanto. They just zoom it all the way in. And this is where he just shows him and then he was about to say, shh. But <laughs> I guess because maybe they wanted to censor it somehow. <laughs> because when they shot the turkey, there was a cloud of smoke. Yeah. I couldn't believe it myself when I when I noticed I saw a cut version than the actual version that I saw. That was interesting. Um, but it was beautifully animated and it was well told. It really did show how they really had to take the the risk and their surviving chance to to make it all the way to the new land. Because this was uh, this was a tough decision that they had to make, especially during those terrible weather conditions that was happening. Yeah. And of course, I, I even love the moments, you know, with the Peanuts game, where especially Pepper and Patty and Marcy, where <laughs> they explain why Marcy was so afraid, and and <laughs> but. Pepper and Patty was very brave, but then at the end, <laughs> Marcy scares her by, by saying there's a snake. They ran away and until Marcy says that she made it up. <laughs> and Pepper and Patty just, uh, just yells and just tells her, you're weird. <laughs> and... Also, the fact of how bossy uh, Lucy is, you know, what do you expect? I mean, she's, she's like, 
complaining about uh, the miserable trip that she had to deal with with the rest of the crew and they're just complaining about having to go back to England after all this time that they'd been through so they had to continue the journey because they had no choice because if they did go back to England it would still be a problem yeah yeah and I know it wasn't easy too having to deal with all the passengers now that they now that half of them had died you know, during that journey. I mean, but hey, it's hard for everyone to deal with. It's hard, it's even hard for them to having to choose what they can do to survive all of this. Because now they know that no matter what, they always remember I mean, no matter what their dreams are, they knew this was going to be their future to actually have a new land and a new home to stay in. Also to greet with new friendship between the Pilgrims and the Indians. Yeah, and shows. And also the fact that this was the first traditional holiday of Thanksgiving, you know. So they made all the way from the harbor to Primitive Rock, and that's where it all began. And it shows. And even at the end of the special, yeah, we did see Snoopy, you know, along with Schroeder, and the rest just actually playing the, the theme to, uh, to Linus and Lucy in a whole different way. Yeah. It definitely has a wonderful score. That was played all the way. Also the fact that you see the Peanuts game walking barefoot at times. Uh, they actually wear different clothes of the traditional ones that they had in all the previous Peanuts specials. And of course the comic strip and and uh, <laughs> Charlotte Brown shows. It's also the first time out of all the other specials where we do get to see adults. And they actually did all the voices you know, done by Greg Berger and Frank Wilker. And they really did a great job. Because I think that this really works so well. I mean, having to see adults and children together in one special. Because otherwise, you know, we wouldn't have American history involving them. Think about that. So that's my review on the Mayflower Voyage, you know, the episode of This is America, Charlie Brown. And it's definitely a wonderful episode. Oh, and just to let you know, there's not going to be any star ratings until the end of episode 8. And that's where I'm going to reveal the star rating of the miniseries. Because I'm just starting with episode 1. And I'm going to continue with the remaining seven episodes. Even if I miss a day or so. Because sometimes i got to be truly busy doing all this other stuff. So, But this is the first episode. So I'll try to see if I can keep up with the rest of them uh, later. So anyway, I'm Joseph A. Sabora. And stay tuned for episode two of This is America, Charlie Brown. The Review. Bye.